Valori leiko kuhingu wako ko check ram pe ko mo mama ta mike he ke free checks in 5 <laughs> Hello and welcome to Free Jacks in 5, a series of brief interviews where you get to know your favorite New England players. I'm Dallin Stanford, former US Eagle and current World Rugby commentator, and in this episode we have the pleasure to spend 5 minutes with Jack Ram from Tonga, one of the international legends who will be representing the Free Jacks in Major League Rugby 2021. Thanks for joining us, Jack. How are you, my friend? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm good. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for inviting me to the show. So It's a pleasure to have you on. I was saying just before we hit record that I remember your name clearly from commentating international rugby because also it wasn't one of the lengthy Tonga names that we normally have to pronounce. Jack Graham just has a bunch of power like you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, probably uh, it's not like a Tonga name, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Easy enough. Rugby, of course, we know is a game that helps us understand different cultures, you know, from people all over around the world. Can you help yeah. describe to us, you know, a bit more about the Tongan culture? I would say Tongan culture is uh, sort of similar with uh, the Samoan and the Fijian culture. For us, uh, the two important thing for us is our faith and our family. So for us, uh, I think that's mostly the reason why we uh, leave home to play rugby elsewhere, just to provide for our family. So yeah, I think that's one of the most important thing for us. And on the other hand, we do like a bit of fun on the side. So yeah, we do enjoy our, our time with uh, the boys and stuff like that. So. And speaking of traveling, uh, you got a chance to do the Sevens World Series. You were part of a, a, a famous Tongan side that beat Fiji for the first time in history. And that was at the 2012 Wellington Sevens. Can you take us back to that day and describe what that, how you came about that accomplishment and how what it meant to you? That's a long time ago, so I don't really remember. What, but really shocked ourselves because Fiji is one of the best uh, Sevens team in the world. So to get the chance to win against them, it's a uh, hardly any team in I think they did like a lot of mistakes and then we capitalized it and then I think that's one of the reasons why we we sneak past and uh, take the win it was a great moment for us as well and you enjoyed your time so much I believe you stayed on in New Zealand and uh, what was it like testing yourselves against you know best rugby nation in the world yeah I think for me as a local player when uh, because that's what we do like uh, back home we were just local players I got back to play in the national sevens and that's the only reason why I used to travel away from home is through the series and stuff like that I got the opportunity to to play in New Zealand and then yeah after the sevens and then I went and uh, played for a club there called Kerry Kerry and then got picked up for Northland and really good time for me and I was blessed and lucky to get that opportunity and then you even yeah. went over to the UK and you played in England you talk a bit about your time in the UK I would say it was uh, cold and wet because uh, <laughs> most most of the seasons uh, played throughout the winter and then uh, yeah but coming over here was uh, one of my aim to see go and experience um, the footy and been a fair amount of time here I did like a season and a half in Doncaster and then end up uh, doing uh, two seasons for Coventry rugby uh, made new friends met nice people and uh, did enjoy my time here so yeah also to get the opportunity to come and uh, play in uh, to sign for the free check so I'm really looking forward to it and see how USA like and have you been to America before or will this be your first time I came to America in the is it the rugby world cup sevens 2018 in yeah, San Francisco yeah. right yeah yeah brilliant yeah. Yeah, I did came with the uh, Tongan team, so yeah, I enjoyed my time there. So, well, Jack, I tell you what, you're gonna have to pack a few warm clothes because it's not going to be California weather when you get here to New England. Yeah, uh, Boston is way colder than here, so yeah, especially in the winter. So, <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll just have to pack uh, some more clothes when I come over. So, yeah. Yes, on tour when you've traveled, have you had a worst roommate on tour, and and can you tell us a bit about that? Pretty much, I haven't uh, complained about my roommate because all they do, they always put me with. Uh, whoever I like to room with, so yeah, there's no complaint at the moment. So maybe when I come to the free check, maybe some, uh, uh, yeah, maybe we'll have worse roommate there or something like that. But we, well, we, we won't put you with the captain Josh Larson because he's known to to pull rank and and kick people out of out of the the, the nicer rooms. He claims it for himself. Yeah, yeah I, uh, <laughs> don't worry about Larson. I, I did uh, play the season with Larson back in New Zealand, so yeah, and doing well. So it's really good to 
come over and there's someone there that you already know, especially he's the captain as well. So yeah, that's right. Final question. The New England fans, obviously they, they support the team thick and fast. Um, do you have a message for them before you get here to New England? The only message is I'm really looking forward to work with the community and uh, support us in I'm pretty sure uh, we'll try our best to... I hit uh, the, the free checks uh, supporters, one of the greatest uh, supporters in the in the league. So, yeah, really looking forward to spend time with them and, uh, yeah, and see and help out in whatever ways I can. Brilliant. Well, we love that. Thanks for joining us on Free Jackson 5. Jack Graham, watch out for him. Stampeding players in the 2021 Major League Rugby season. You can keep updated with your New England side at freejacks.com where it's always champagne rugby and let's ride. Let's ride.